of my Leos, welcome to your July 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings uh, for free. So what is going on with Leo July 1st through the 15th of 2018? One card for what's going on for Leo. Alright, so I see that you're taking a period of rest and rejoice. rejuvenation or you need a period of rest and rejuvenation <clears throat> mentally what's going on with Leo July 1st through the 15th three cards for what's mentally going on with Leo July 1st through the 15th okay. so I have the high priestess the page of pentacles and the king of cups so I have the High Priestess reversed, and this isn't the first time that we've got this, is it? This is Pisces energy. Um, this is not using your intuition, ignoring your inner calling. There's a lack of knowledge here. There's being impatient, not being aware of your talent, lack of female friends, wanting to uh, be left alone. There's nightmares here, emotional and mental imbalances. Um, secrets being revealed, a break in trust, promiscuity, being lazy, being reliant on psychics. I have the page of pentacles in the upright. So the pages, they develop a sense of self. The page of pentacles is manifestation of finances. Um, it's news of money. Um, loan applications being accepted, uh, but being in debt, saving and possession, profits, college applications, um, offers accepted on a house, mortgage applications, waiting on health results, solid ground, um, student studies, goal setting. So that's what's on your mind. And then we have the King of Cups in the upright. So this is giving somebody good advice, providing a shoulder to cry on, um, helping to raise a child, seeking advice from family friends, trying to keep everyone calm, um, being secretive. It's really not wise to expose your true feelings with this card. Um, you're a natural healer with this card, following hunches, disciplined emotions, appearing secretive and withdrawn, highly developed psychic abilities, acting on feelings, trusting your intuition, understanding your emotions. Um, so that's what's on your mind currently. So you're thinking about not using your intuition, which you're, you're right about, relying on psychics too much, and you're developing your intuition. So I see you actually developing it and getting gaining deep wisdom and being a healer. And you're also weighing on news of money, news of an application, news of a, a house. And then I have the Five of Swords. There's conflict, tension, betrayal, win at all costs. There could be abuse here, criminal violence, um, smugness, bloating, physical attacks, no win situation. It could be with an Aquarius. Okay, so what is Leo's family and home life like? What is Leo's family and home life like? Three cards. One, 
two, three. Alright, so the first one I have is the Chariot. Uh, so the Chariot is the card of Cancer. It's a major arcana card. It's a major life event. It's gaining control of opposing forces. Control over your emotions. Appearances can be deceiving with this card. There's self-control, self-discipline, travel. There could be a powerful, successful man or woman hiding behind a mask um, and co-creating destiny. So it's right under the high priest. So we have Pisces and Cancer. So there's a lot of emotion here. Um, being ultra sensitive, being highly intuitive. And then we have a Taurus. <laughs> we have the hair font reverse. Uh, so this is the card of Taurus, and this is breaking rules, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules, changing religions, new belief system, unconventional relationships, dropping out of school, being extremely judgmental and hypocritical. And then I have the Three of Cups. And this is all about celebrations, friends, community, emotional growth. And again, this is the card of Cancer. So there's this reoccurring theme of Pisces and Cancer so far. And I have an Aquarius. And I also have um, Earth Energy, which would be... Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but it's just general earth energy. Okay, so what's going on in Leo's romantic and social life? Three cards for Leo's romantic and social life. Energy. We started the Queen of Wands. So this is um, valuing freedom and living an independent life. All problems are faced head on. This encourages growth and self acceptance. Um, running a business, being more more focused on your business than your romances. You act upon feelings and use your inner strength to achieve goals. You're always rushing to get things done with this card. And it's the card of Aries. And then we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So this again is the card of Cancer. So we have another Cancer card here. So the Queen of Cups in the reverse is very manipulative, very bitter, jealous, gullible easily influenced. She's a fashion victim. She doesn't dress nice at all. Um, she's clean, moody. She's going through heartbreak. She's all gloom and doom. She's cold, shallow, self-centered, scandalous, blocked or repressed emotions or artistic abilities. And then I have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's a delay. There's a lack of motivation. There's being weighed down. There's no new starts. Um, there's no energy here. So I don't see any new relationships here. I see you're still getting over this past heartbreak. And that's why we go back to this central theme of uh, rest and rejuvenation. That's what you, you truly need. I, I don't see any new relationships coming in for you. So, um, three cards to help. To help Leo. Three cards to help Leo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rest and rejuvenation again. Kind of. Okay, so I have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. 
So there could be loneliness here. You feel very lonely. And there's this forced period of rest. Uh, there's just mental overload here. This could be hospitalization or going through a mental breakdown. You're juggling things, you're juggling jobs, you're juggling finances, you're juggling um, people. But ultimately, this is Sagittarius energy. There's a calm after the storm. There's rebalancing, a glimpse of spiritual purpose, uh, perfect timing. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's a period of peace, tranquility, healing, understanding. There's a mature relationship at the end of this. So at the end of this, you do have a mature relationship coming towards you. But you have to do the work first. That is the ultimate outcome of a mature relationship. It could be with the Sagittarius. Or Gemini. The lovers. Self-love. The magic of falling in love. Sexual development. Sexual attraction. Um, examining both sides, quality and communication. Somebody may be interested in you. So what's going on in Leo's money? What's going on with Leo's money? Judgment. What else is going on in Leo's money? Two more cards, please. Two more cards, what's going on with Leo's money? Two more cards. Three of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. So with the judgment, um, this is final outcome. You're unable to hide things. There's life changing choices here accounting for your past, so there's karma, what you did in the past is coming back to haunt you now. Uh, feeling judged, there could be courts here, um, but the outcome is in your favor. There's a crossroads, a transformation, there could be um, karma coming back from relationships, like debt from rela old relationships. Then I have the three of pentacles, in the reverse, this is there's a lack of teamwork, there's a disregard for skills. And then the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Um, manipulation, heartbreak, doom and gloom, blocked or repressed artistic abilities, scandal. So in terms of your money, I see that you worked really hard, but things from the past are coming back to haunt you right now. So I don't see your money being as good as it possibly could be at the, the present moment. All right, in terms of Leo's career, three cards for Leo's career, please. Okay, I have the five of wands. There's a lot of conflict fighting. Uh, the King of Swords and the Two of Wands. So, there's conflict, stress, competition, chaos, fighting to be heard. There's a lack of teamwork, things getting out of hand, irritation, impatience, um, too many Indians, not enough chiefs. The King of Swords. This is coming up with a well thought out plan. The truth will come out. Honesty is the best policy. Legal issues surround you at the present. Uh, put thoughts on paper. You could write a book with this card. Writing a book would be highly successful with this card because he's a master 
of communication. Um, he presides over the courts, police, and forensic. He determines and brings matters that are just and fair to a conclusion. He gives clear and sound advice. You must use clear thinking and honestly, whatever you do, um, he has a razor sharp mind. He's powerfully disciplined. He's highly intelligent. He's full of logic and reason. Um, reason. He's a true professional. So whatever you do, be honest. Even if it, you feel like it'll hurt somebody, you still need to be honest with the king, and that's how you're going to get your way. And then I have the two of wands in the reverse. There's a fear of the unknown, a lack of planning. This is the card of Aries. So we Leo, um, Gemini, and Aries. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you again for joining me today.